All right, anybody listening to this, uh, the Twitter tags are at the bottom, at TechVon is 650G. If you want to add him if you're on Twitter, talk to him. Uh, you know, give shit talk on whatever, you know, entertain him. Be entertaining. And GPN right. Gaming. GPN Gaming, as always, is obviously me. But I try to get everybody text part of, like, what I'm trying to work on. And today we're just going to talk about wrestling. Just random wrestling. So let's start with the most obvious. I know you. Th I know you're thinking AEW, but no. Two K twenty. How they fix it yet? Uh, there were some fixes, but it's not fixed. Oh, there was actually there was actually an update. Yeah, the last one was a couple of weeks ago, and it fixed some problems, but there's still shit going on with the game. Now, that's not to say I don't enjoy it. Like, there are things about this game that I really like. Yeah. But for the most part, it's. Still I mean, it's a lot better than it was released. Yeah. It's just. Oh. Is it still crashing? It's just a lot of the. From time to time. See, I can't record WCW. It's better than it was. Wrestling, or even. I can't do it. So you haven't you haven't run BGW, which is BGW is Battleground Wrestling, uh, that G runs, and uh, it's you can find it at. Where on YouTube? Uh, you search BGW space battleground one word wrestling. You can find it on YouTube. Um, I'm waiting on specific people to get the game before I start BGW back up. Like, there's people that have titles that don't have the game yet. So. Oh, okay. So it's not really like fully ready. All right. Um, and I'm waiting on create a championship to come back because yeah, I don't want to use. Titles. WWE titles in BGW, that's corny. Corny as fudge. Um, yeah, and then WCW yeah. Women's Championship Wrestling had a couple episodes, but then every time I try recording now, the whole game goes back to the dashboard, and after like four or five times, I think I'm going to give it a break. Uh, CWF Championship Wrestling Federation, which Tech is the champion. Um, so anybody oh, wants to challenge shit. him? So if anybody wants to cha oh, anybody wants shit, to challenge them, uh, you know, hit me up, hit up at GPN Gaming or at uh, CWF underscore wrestling or CWF under at CWF underscore X one. My bad. And uh, anyway, um, so I can't even get anything. It's even Outlaw Mud Show Wrestling. Like I'm trying to get that running. I got all the stuff I need for. I got the logos, everything. But it's like I can't do anything. This game is just like, how do they expect people to buy it even for other people if it's broken? I mean, it's bad enough. It doesn't look as good, but like. I mean, I'm I'm not tripping off how it looks. I just wanted to play right. Like that's always been my thing with wrestling games, bro. You know, like that how it controls. The most beloved wrestling games of all time all look terrible, but they play great. Yeah. This whole but, thing that they do with releasing unfinished games because they can patch them later, I don't like that shit. They send them people an inferior product and they know from the beginning and they still hype this shit up. I'm surprised people don't like sue them because uh, I don't know if you remember, but when the PS Vita, I think it was, no, I think it was a Vita. Yeah, the very first PS Vita came out, there was pixels that were burnt out. People actually sued Sony, got a lawyer, and they had a case. I, I just brought mine back to the GameStop and the kid gave me a new one. But um, it's like they should be able to do that. They should threaten lawsuits. I mean, or something. I mean, because to be honest, I can't believe. Yeah, I feel you. I feel like there should. I can't believe there hasn't been a class action lawsuit. Uh, yet against the video game companies for selling you a game that they knew was broken. Yeah, and it's not a matter of like you know, well, we want money. No, they wouldn't want money. They want the game fixed. It just to get the name out there to show how bad the product is is damage enough. And you would think that right. people would have done that. Right, that's not, I don't No, care. they just want it fixed. They, they just want it to work right. And, and I'm just I'm, I'm just not really... I'm just not getting it. I spend you know my I mean? money. You the spend your money. The product should work like I expect it to. But dude, that's and not even it. And if it doesn't... But that's not even it. It's, it's also a matter of that, like... Oh, wow. Really? 
Um, it's just a matter that uh, you buy a game, you're, you're you're waiting for it, you're excited, and this is what you get. You yeah. just get something yeah, totally and utterly broken. Too, so I was bitter about that. They had my yeah. money for months. Oh, I didn't pre-order. I just downloaded it. I, but I paid for the full thing. Oh, and then ooh, the, uh, the DLC. Oh, the second patch, second one comes out around Christmas. They give you three. One before, one after, one during, and one after. And it's, it's never really, like, worth it. Other than it's, everybody looking like... Rick yeah, they give you three of the day one one as well. But that wasn't day one. It came out two weeks after. Yeah. We get four this year. Yeah. But I just, like... I. I the game should just be working. The there shouldn't be any issues. Like, it should just work, yeah. Just work. It should and, just work. And if an AEW game comes out and Ux does it, yeah, it'll be better, probably. We're assuming it would be better. But also, for people like me, like, I'm trying. I'm trying to watch AEW. And I, I just, it, it's, it's like watching people in a tryout or people, like, practicing wrestling, getting trained in the ring without a trainer there. But you like it. So, but for me, it's like, how can I like a game if I don't like the company? I'm trying, but I I, I DVR it every week, and I watch the full two hours. I don't watch WWE like I used to, though. I still enjoy the games. When I got back into watching the games, I, when I got back into playing the wrestling games, uh -huh. and like Raw vs. SmackDown 09 or 08, one of those, yeah. I wasn't even watching wrestling at that time. Playing the game got me watching wrestling again. Oh, really? Yeah, I just yep. well, well, well with NXT too. I've been watching that. It, that's been kind of slipping too, but that's for another day. <laughs> but like, but like you were also talking too while you're playing 2K20. Um, like people are doing cheap things, like making a f five, oh, like dude, a five foot six. It's cowards out here, bro. They'll make a dude that's hella skinny. It's like five eleven, six feet. They'll make him a super heavyweight without. You know what I'm saying? Because being a super heavyweight gives you specific advantages. Like, uh, there's three tiers of health. The first one is green, second one yellow, last one red. With the super heavyweights, you can't grapple move them until that green shit, until the first level of health is gone. And motherfuckers will do that. They'll use that. They'll spam. Like, there are moves in every wrestling game that are harder to reverse than others. And not only will they do those moves, they do this long stalling shit. Well, they'll, like, say you're on the ground, they'll wait to the exact moment you're about to stand up to try to do it. Wow. Who thinks? Well, I call shit, it though? reference. Like, how, no, but like, like, but, but even that, it, it has to tell you, like, the fact that they're doing this. How long are they sitting there? In in looking for, trying to find, digging through, and. Just that's people to try, that just to try do to find it. This. That's people that's just what they do. That's what I'm saying. How they how just sad? Do that. How sad and, and pathetic does your life have to be that that's all you do? I gotta find a way to cheat the game. I don't want it. I just want to be top of the leaderboard. I want the most downloaded. Yeah, it's not even the leaderboard anymore, and they're still doing it. Yeah, it's like what the fuck? I don't know. That, that I guess that's why I retired from online wrestling. I'm just done. I mean, I spent hours and hours and nights, just every night. Like, you know, that was always on that shit. We all did. Just, uh, we all I can't, did. I, I can't when the game was it. worth playing. It's crazy that 19, <laughs> a lot of people I know have straight going back to 19. It was like, fuck 2K20. Yeah. Which is really, like, really I'm like, dude, if you feel like you've actually been robbed, if you feel like they stole <laughs> your money. Huh. Like, how come nobody's suing these fools? I know, right? There's so many butt hurt people in the world. Yes, butt hurt. People that say, oh, you're making this forum toxic with your opinions. We don't like it. Oh, you, you should be more positive. I'm surprised those people... You should kiss my ass. But I'm surprised those people aren't actually bitching and moaning what? about it. Like, and, and doing something about it. They it, are bitching and moaning, but they're bitching and moaning. What they're saying is fix the game. That's all they're saying. Is yeah, but the they game. could spam, dude. They could shut down servers by, 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 by overflowing. Like how Jim Cornette says something, and and all of a sudden Twitter shuts down because there's too many responses. It can't, it can't keep up with it. They could be like going on the internet on Twitter and just making it newsworthy. Where, uh, you know, 
where they're like, oh, this game's so bad. People and fans of the game just constantly breaking Twitter, breaking the, the 2K website, filling it with all kinds of hate and this and that. And, you know what I mean? And then maybe the WWE would say, wow, this is not good for our shareholders. Okay, we got to pay Ukes more. I'm money sure they're Ukes. thinking that already. Yeah. Well, Ukes is gone, bro. No, they're gone, but they're not signed to AEW. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. They're not signed to nobody. In order for Ukes to come back and be a developer on this game, 2K would have to lose they're it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you think so? They don't want to work with no, 2K they only use, But they were only using 2K servers. So they might, they, WWE might say, hey, look, we want 2K servers. We want your... They were Dude, only I, using 2K. 2K owns the... 2K has the license right now, is what I'm saying. And oh. I don't think that well. WWE... I don't think that um, Use wants to work with 2K anymore. What's I'm saying? That WWE might be like, yo, look, we're going to take it from you unless... Because the thing I don't like is that you gotta unlock shit. You gotta unlock clothing. You gotta unlock weapons. And you gotta play through the through the career mode. I, I don't mind that. It's that. different. You gotta I unlock know. shit that you didn't have last year. No, the I shit know. has never. All the shit you have to unlock has never been in the game before. Yeah, I don't mind that. that. I play the game enough to okay, unlock it. Uh, okay, but to get people to buy the game, shit, you give it to them anyway. Especially when they buy your stupid all the shit that pass. they've been. All the shit that they've been giving you that was unlocked in all the other games when you buy the season pass, all that shit is unlocked in this game. It's just all the new stuff that you have to No, unlock, I know. Now which, I'd have to play through again, career just to get this stuff, which is dumb. I don't want to play career. I don't want to play it. I, like, uh, I'm not They're trying that kind of to get people to play their improved career mode. Yeah, but see, that's the problem. I understand why it's being done. But that's, see, that, that, that's the people who want to be a career or someone like you that... That isn't quite burnt out of over this game, and like with me, it's 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 like I want the stuff because a I want to record, and two I, I like to hop on every now and then. I get inspired when I see good matches or a good show, and I want to play and re-emulate it. But to have to go through their game, forcing you to play their game, something you bought and the season pass, I can see the season pass stuff that you'd have to play to unlock. I get that because you're buying it; it's extra goods. Now, to be able to like. Like, even download characters. I gotta download characters. People are gonna have this stuff on their characters. So now I'm gonna have to get stuck playing this shit, or have them take it off, just so I can use their character in the show, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. It's because it's like, it's like DLC you didn't buy, but I bought the game, but they're forcing, you know what I'm saying? They're forcing me to play it. DLC I don't mind. It's a little this, little that. But like, and after having to try to beat Bray Wyatt and all that, you saw how hard that was. You you were you were raging. I hadn't heard you rage over this game in a long time, and you were flipping your shit, dude. Oh, it's because it was fucked up. The exactly. game was a lot shittier at that point. It was like right after the shit came out, before they patched it. Yeah. Right when the DLC came out, before they patched the game, I was trying to do it. Targeting was horrendous. Well, that's what I'm saying. So to me, it's like it, it comes out. It comes all comes down. Oh god. Long day today, sorry. It all comes down to, you buy the game, the stuff should be unlocked. Don't expect me to have to play through your shit 100% to get what I want. The DLC, I get that, that's extra, but also... I hear you, I understand exactly what you're saying, bro. I should be able to download anybody you have that has stuff on it without having to play it myself and make it to where I just can't use it on my own characters. I have to actually, I can only use that one character if they lock the character, then I'd be fine. And then with the whole coins thing, oh, I got these points and these coins and you can unlock stuff. I don't want to play NBA 2K. It's garbage. It's, it's duty 2K. juice. It's fucking it's bullshit. 2K. WWE has it's to bring them It's what they do with their games. WWE has enough money they can buy them out. They can buy out that license back and they should give it back to, U to Ukes or to tell uh, 2K, look, uh, we're going to have to cancel our thing or not let you do things or make it so that the game is garbage to where even 2K says, you know what, forget it. And 2K doesn't do it. But 2K, 2K will do what they want because 2K needs money. I mean, 2K, NBA 2K was dog shit. It's got, what, like two stars? And uh, it, it plays better on the Switch than it does for, like, the better consoles, which makes no sense whatsoever. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. I play it. I have the Switch Lite. It plays better. Well, I'm saying it doesn't make any sense. You're absolutely correct. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing should play better on the Switch. Yeah. It's, it's more fun because it's, like... For a Switch game, it's really good. And shooting is somewhat simpler. But the thing is, though, it's like, why pay for things to try to level up? People want to level up. They want to make their characters. They want to have fun. And if they if their characters I mean, can get to... You can level up without having to pay, like, the first... 
That'll take you 80 years. You know, because I hear a lot of people. I hear a lot of people that play the game say that the game it takes forever. Like once you get to a certain point, it it takes forever. Nah. No. Not for me. Well, I do know that people are actually people are talking saying that that um, NBA Live should NBA Live the company should get. the best award for game of the year this year because the, their game this year has absolutely no flaws. It's like the perfect game. And it was the smartest thing they've ever done. Because they NBA didn't, Live didn't come out with a game this year. Exactly. They didn't put a piece of shit out. They didn't piss people off. They After 19, you're still 19 waiting. still runs, though. 19 no, that's is dope. A, I'm playing 19 right now. Yeah, but you're not pissed off about 20, and they didn't have to go back to 19 because 20 sucked. See, that's what I'm saying. Right. They're smart. They're waiting. They said, you know what? Let's just take this year and, and transfer it to the next platform and make this game perfect. That's what WWE should have did. They should have said, you guys say I mean, I know Triple H and them, they run the matches. They run the shows. Who the hell's who the hell's handling these morons? I mean, doesn't Xavier Woods plays this stuff on Up, Up, Down, Down? Doesn't he tell him, yo, Vince, this game is dog shit. He ain't put this... Oh, I, I believe that's been done. The fact yeah, that he not, hasn't featured it yet. That's gotta be. But that's the thing, though. Like, uh, what is Vince waiting for? Dude, he got $4 billion from Fox. I'm pretty sure he could say, Ukes, we this need you to come in and do this. This is I don't think Vince really understands like that, though. Triple H does. Most of, dude, Randy Orton, Triple H. He might. Seth Rollins. All the top guys, dude, play video games. I'm sure they're pissed off. Like, look at my guy. I look stupid. This is broken. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you going to do something with this? Uh, I guess we're going to have to. I mean, they got money. They should just, they should literally say Ukes. And I think that's why Ukes didn't sign with AEW. Because they know that they have the money. WWE just re-signed John Morrison. Dude, I'm excited. I can't wait. Because I liked him. And now he's even more seasoned. He's a grizzly seasoned He's going to get super job. He's going to be Captain Midcard like everybody else they bring in right now. No, He's dude. been there before. Watch. No, they they had to promise him something or he got a shit, shit ton of money. Because, dude, like, think about it. They got the money they got. They probably him, got a also. shit ton of money. But here's the thing, though. Like, he his name is so much bigger than it ever was. Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact, and now he's back to John Morrison. And, dude, he looks in great shape. So, personally, I think we're going to use him. Put him versus Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Michael... Uh, Adam Cole. I mean, there's so many people for him. They're going to give him the, you just got back push. And then, yeah. like a month or two in, it's going to be over. Well, as long as they do it like they did He's AJ. He's going to be Captain Nick No, I think they're going to do it. They're not going to do it. Nobody like they did AJ. AJ Styles was undeniable. Well, no, was I'm too talking big about, everywhere else. I'm talking about, they're saying that he should go to NXT, which they should. But... As far as everything else goes, I mean, dude, he's got so many people to wrestle. There's so much to do with him. I, I, I think, like, I don't know. And he, he's still fairly young. I'm sure he didn't sign knowing what would, not knowing what, what's going on with people, how they were being held back, this and that, and the Revival still holding out. Because the Revival thinks that if they go somewhere else, they're going to be loved and coveted and, and used better. Dude, okay, look, without a manager, personally, I think they're kind of boring without a manager. In ring, they're good. They don't do quite what they should do and what they've been doing, like like what they used to do and what, like, say, the Brain Busters used to well, do. No, they like, don't because they're deals. adapting to the fucking main roster. Well, no, no, even in, no, even in, uh... And it's being scripted differently by somebody else. No, 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 I mean, even, huh? No, even, like, uh, what do you call it, um, how the Brain Busters work. Just a little cheat, cheat stuff, kind of like what Alexa Bliss does. Right, 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 right. You know, they're not even doing that. Oh, we're the greatest. We're this or this. Oh, okay. They haven't re-signed yet. And when and when when and or if they do, it's like they're not really doing like living up to the potential to where even I would care. I mean, Gallows and Anderson, they're getting half they're getting five hundred and fifty probably more, but that's what it was at when they were asked to stay and they wanted to leave. They were offered five hundred fifty thousand dollars a year for five years. It's just 
work, and now WWE, since you're on Raw or SmackDown, you only work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, or like Sunday, is it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? I guess like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it's like you get three, four days off a week. So, and let's face it, you're doing a house show. It's not like you're like lifting wood like you were years ago. You know, you're just kind of right. sitting around until your mean, match it, hits. It's worse, bro. They're getting fucking slammed. It don't matter. The match could be five minutes long. They're still getting slammed. There's no way to fake that shit, guy. Like, absolutely no way. Uh, well, I don't know. I, like, to, to me, with AEW, and I'm I just... saying, it's only because I took that wrestling class, bro, and I understand what it's like on your body. This shit is no joke. You, you got only any get cool, that shit. You got any cool stories? Any what? Any cool stories? When I was in the class, there are some <laughs> cool stories from, uh, Tell me. Fucking would be XPW. Um, okay, so the class is called The Asylum. It's getting taught by Homeless Jimmy, which is one of my friends, and his cousin, uh, Dynamite D, who passed a few years back. He almost died from cancer, I believe. Yeah. He was cool as fuck. Um, but these practices are being held at the Extreme Associates warehouse. Extreme Associates used to be this really big porn company out here. And huh. all the women that were, all the women that were in XPW, were porn stars. Oh, Every wow. single one. Um. So and the the class went on. They had a ring set up at the warehouse that they distributed their videos and DVDs from. They also had a couple of rooms set up in the back where they would film scenes. So. Wait 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 wait. Porn I'm scenes person. or movie scenes or. Porn scenes. Ah! How do you? So there'd be chicks walking around with like some high heels on and panties, no top. I'm the only dude tripping out, like, oh my god, like, <laughs> what the fuck? And motherfuckers are like, yeah, we've been here, we've been seeing it, whatever. I'm uh, like, yo, it's yeah, going dude. down in here. Dude. It's going down in here, like it was, it was burnt. Like I had a. Uh, there was this one fucking meeting. The the dude who owned the company, XBW, was also the guy who owned uh, Extreme Associates. His name was Rob Black. So what, like, it was after the practice, after the, the class, and uh, they had a show coming up. So everybody's in his office. And while he's giving this meeting, somebody rings the doorbell. He has a, a, a mic straight from the doorbell to his desk. I mean, straight from the front door to his desk. He asked who it is, it's some chick. The chick had just done, she was asking him for money. Tell him, Rock, uh, she said, she, I think it was 1500 she needed. I need 1500 bucks. Well, he was like, you just did such such amount of scenes. You got paid such such amount of money for doing those scenes. It's way more than $1,500. Like, what do you need $1,500 for right now? And then she's like, but I really need the money. He was like, I'm not going to give you money for nothing like this is a business here you're gonna have to do something for the money right wow so he goes uh somebody's gonna have to fuck you in the ass she was like fine whatever what? <laughs> he, he goes to the class who wants to fuck her in the ass <laughs> wow right and one dude raises his hands and they go off to the bathroom he fucks her in the ass this fool rob writes a check dog and she bounces I was dying. Wait, 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 wait. Did he record it? Hell no. Wait, so he... Wow, so he just basically gave away some free anal for $1,500? Wow. Right. He paid for that dude getting... Wow. Oh, wait, what? They asked okay. Me, did I want to do a scene, bro? Uh -huh. They was like, look, they got a, They had a series <laughs> called Cock Smokers. Oh, wow. And I got offered... I got offered 500 to get head. I was like, well, I can't do it, dog. My baby mama will destroy me, folks. I can't <laughs> Even if you do brought it. home extra cash and some, like, lobster? 500? You little chicks don't give a damn about five. Come on, bro. I'd be like, $1,000 and some lobster. You got a deal. <laughs> wow. You're a dude. You're a dude. Dudes don't get paid a lot of money for porn. It's the chicks who get paid. $500 for a motherfucker who didn't have to do shit but get some head. Was, that was good money. But, like... I was like, I can't do that, bro. This bra will destroy me. Now, see, I heard it was the other way around. The, the chicks got less. Now, nah, the chicks get way more. 
the only the dudes who get a lot of money. Like I, I live in North Hollywood, uh, in L.A. in the Valley. This is the porn capital of the world. Oh, um, the weird. chicks who get right, the motherfuckers who make oh. the most money in this shit are the chicks because it's a, it's a men driven business. The men pay to see the women. The oh. dudes who make a lot of money are big stars in the industry. They usually have their own company or series of videos. You know what I mean? Wow. Did not know that. Wow. So wait, did, so let's go back to this guy that, that did that. Did he get a, a good push in the company or did he kind of get held back? Like, I don't want to say who he is, bro. Did they I don't shit say on him? Or... No, you don't no. say the name. He did exactly what he wanted to do in that company. Oh, so she's the only one that cool. shit on him. Get it? She shit on him. Get it? Never mind. Yeah, get literally. It. Uh, yeah. Literally. Literally. So any, any, it, was, it was burnt out. Anybody uh, fun like uh, like that you met that that's either made it to the big time? Yes. Yes, they did a show a few months after ECW closed, and they were uh -huh. getting ECW wrestlers. Um. I uh, smoked the blunt with Sabu. Nice. That shit was cool. Went to Denny's with New Jack and my boy Homeless Jimmy. Homeless. Um, I met Shane Douglas, who was a dick. How was he? I met, a dick? Uh, he was just an asshole, bro. Like he had this air about him when just talking to him. And I'm not talking about his character. I'm talking about talking to him. He was just an asshole. Um, I met Big Dick Dudley before he passed. It was cool. I enjoyed it. So, so you met? They had some big... of the gangsters T-shirts ever. That shit was hard. They're merch okay, so, and shit. So who? So you met all these guys: Big Dick, Shane Douglas. Um. Uh, who was the coolest? Answer me these questions. Who was the, who was the coolest one to talk to? Who, did any of them give you any good stories? And how big is Batista's dick? Right. I have no idea how big Batista's wife is. That's nowhere <laughs> in what I was saying whatsoever. And uh, no, that's something cool. people throw in. Shit. People throw that in anytime they they have Sabu anything to do with right. wrestling. Sabu was cool. He was cool as fuck. But I yeah. had the most fun when we went to Denny's with New Jack because some dude was about to get his shit pushed in like he was about to get fucked up this dude walks by the table was like i know you from somewhere you on tv and new jack was he was being cool he was like not right now man blah 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 the dude kept pushing the issue uh, and it was it was getting bad like it was about to get ugly yeah i heard a lot of that on the on podcast where uh rest uh fans kind of uh push wrestlers just to see what would happen and then it doesn't always like work out well. Like they, apparently there was one with Ming, where uh, somebody kept pushing him and pushing him, and he just he was calm, and then suddenly he just knocked a guy through a door, and a guy was out, and he choked him out, like legitly choked him out. <laughs> so I, I've heard I've heard stories about that. I don't know why people do that. I mean, me personally, like if it's an autograph signing, dude, everybody not, ain't tough. What's that? Everybody ain't tough. Some of these motherfuckers is just yeah. regular dudes who got a job. Everybody with muscles ain't tough. But everybody wants to challenge him and see how big and bad they are. Like I remember they were saying, like Doctor Destiny. It's all Williams. about their mentality. Like a lot of these dudes is nuts. Yeah. Well, New Jack's nuts. You have to have a certain thing with pain to be a pro wrestler. You have to have a certain. There has to be something about you where you have a different tolerance for pain yeah. than other people to be a professional wrestler like that shit is grueling bro so did you actually ever have a and match it's fun to tell just yeah. chilling with people um practice matches they want okay there was a group called the west side ngz's that's what they shirt said west side ngz wow. but it was a tag team with black dudes called the west side niggas you can look this shit up on youtube bro like, and um, they wanted me to be part of the West Side niggas, but I was like, bro, I can't. 
my body can't handle this shit. The class was fun as fuck. I've been in love with wrestling. So I was a little boy. I always wanted to do it. And I was in my mid-20s at the time, bro. And I was like, I can't. I can't be in pain like this every day. I can't do it. No way. Public Enemy versus the Pipples versus the West Side NGZ. XPW <laughs> in 2000. Huh. Bro. I'm on the WWE Network, bro. Um, when they did Heat Wave 2000. Yeah. When they did Heat Wave 2000, the only show that ECW ever did on the West Coast, they did it in uh, in L.A. I was there for that. And the way that the ECW dudes explain what happened is not exactly true. Huh. But I was there for that. I went with two dudes that I worked with. And um, the... XPW dudes came in. It was like five or six of them. Yeah. <clears throat> and they had a, a porn chick with them, a couple of porn chicks with them and all that. And they were in the front row. But apparently, they made them turn their t-shirts inside out before they let them in. They all had on XPW shirts and they were sitting in the front row of the ECW pay-per-view. So, right as they're introducing the dudes at the main match, all the XPW dudes turn their, their shirts around. The right side up, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> and um, at that exact moment, I'm like five rows back, but at that exact moment, I'm talking to homeless Jimmy when this happened. I'm standing right behind him. I got a, a photo of it. I got a photograph of it. I can send it to you. I'm standing right behind me. I don't know. Jimmy knew some chick that took a picture of me standing with him. Well, I'm like two steps behind him. While they're at the guardrail, arguing with security as the wrestlers from uh, XPW are coming out. There's a huge fight, dude. So there's a bald headed guy named Johnny? There's Supreme, Homeless Jimmy, the Messiah, I believe, is there. Um, what was there? I think White Trash Johnny. I think White Trash Johnny Webb was there. I don't remember all who was exactly there. But like, a fight broke out, dog. And they fought from the seats all the way to the door. Wow, because this front is here. And I got... It's like really like... Like, kind of old. Feels like it's a VHS table. Great. It might be. It might be. Nah, it was packed in there. Well, what show is this? The this XPW is the, uh, shit? Yeah, this is the XPW. This is uh, Public Oh, yeah, it was, it, it was a local West L.A. company. It was a so, local indie company. So the West Side, the West Side is, uh, that's the Y2G? West Side Indie. One of those dudes might have been named Y2G. One of them, yeah. Yeah, but the so West Side, you, so you barely see his shirt. He just got an elbow drop through a table, and he's like super overselling. It's two bold guys. Mm -hmm. Two bald dudes. There was one dude that left, and I got another guy. This fool used to have some, some crazy stage fright type shit. Is he chronic? He had some crazy stage fright type shit to where he was, I don't remember. One of them was probably, yeah, I believe that dude, I was like 22 at the time. I'm 40 right now. Bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually showing it on on this podcast right now. Some of what it like. Rocko Rock. This XPW. Is when they had I got trained. WCW. My home shirts. Yeah. Um, it, it was. It, I had a lot of fun though, bro. In the corner, the table. I assume you would. That shit was dope. Like, it was on? just a lot of strange, random shit. But yeah, Heat Wave, the Heat Wave 2000 shit was on the WWE that... Network. It's now, they make absolutely certain that they don't really show anything. Oh, yeah, because, you know. Oh, that table was terrible. Grunge went through the table. Fat ass just like. <laughs> this fat ass just rolled through it like. He literally just like oh. ran and fell and the thing broke. Oh, hit him in the 
ding a ling. He better not get locked out of here. He's got a match to finish. Well, uh oh, who's this guy? The boy home is Jimmy. Oh, Pitbull. Oh, the Pitbulls came out of this match. Home is Jimmy. Was so fucking hard, dude. Like, he was a human guinea pig at the time, dog. Any crazy ass move that somebody wanted to do, they did it to Homeless Jimmy. I seen Homeless Jimmy get power bombed off the balcony. Oh wait, is that Homeless Jimmy? Was Homeless Jimmy scared? Did he have on a flannel? No, they were jean shorts. Jean shorts. Yeah. Uh huh. Was he thin? Was he thin? He was a lot thinner. Yeah. Yeah, that must be him. Than he is now. They be fucking him up. Yeah, uh, I think Rocco just did an elbow drop off the top of their balcony onto him. Or like their stage thing. Homeless Jimmy was the resident deathmatch master. Wait, is it? Or is it oh, bro. Number one? Oh, let me pit bull number one. No, pit bull number one. I can't tell. It's like, it's like a cluster, dude. They're literally breaking every single table that's there. Ow. Hey. Yeah, like there's chairs in the ring. I was at a match where somebody, you know, Matt, uh, they used to let motherfuckers bring their own weapons to ECW and shit. Motherfuckers did that in XDW. This fool homeless Jimmy used to come to the ring with a shopping cart full of shit that he would use in his matches drinking a 40 ounce. Chronic just got beat up by uh, Pitbull. Someone's got a sign you can't read. I'm actually watching on a smaller screen on the Elgato because it actually clears it up a little bit. So if you watch this, you can kind of see it a little bit clearer. Dude, they just keep breaking tables left out, like one after the other. Hey. They're, pro they're probably not even gimmicked either. Probably not. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's. West Side is Y2G, yeah. Wait a minute now. Both members of the West Siders and public gonna be going at it here on the outside. Almost like they're just having fun. That dude can't sell. <laughs> they had a match. They had a dude for the rest of there. Look at these guys over by the He had one of my favorite t-shirts. I just thought it was hilarious. It was a white dude. His name was White Trash Johnny Webb. And he actually wrestled on the MTV shit. Yeah. Um... But he had a shirt that had the Confederate flag and said some shit in the front. And in the back, it said welfare. On the back, it said welfare, and there was a box with a check in it. That shit had me crying laughing. Uh, oh, he's lighting the table on fire. And the, the guy's trying to sound like Joey Styles. What are you doing? Right. There was a match back at that dude. There was a match back in the day. West side boy. After they got some of the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they put his head. Where they did the a show at high school gym. Yeah. The fire breathing table. And this fool. The pit bulls working. Climbs a ladder. They turn their and jumps battle. off the rim of the fucking basketball Pitbull court in the gym. Whoa, whoa. No, on a dude no, no, through a table. They're destroying the crit. It's like a Christmas show, I guess. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, this show's getting nuts. Hold on. I don't want to keep the whole thing on there. You won't get mad at me. Yeah. But anyway. It seemed pretty cool. It was a good time. Nah. Either, I mean, it was... A lot of these dudes had some, some real success in other places. Oh, yeah? After. Um, yeah, it was just a local company. They had some bullshit go down, though, where supposed to be one of the, the wrestlers was fucking Rob Black's wife, who he married a porn star. And, uh, why would allegedly, you they sent somebody. I just don't. Allegedly, they sent somebody to like kill this dude or cut his dick off or whatever. Uh, and they sent somebody to uh to do that. But what they ended up doing was cutting off his thumb with some garden this shears. This unknown person they cut off his junk with some garden shears. 
What no, his the, thumb. His thumb with garden shears. How does that make any sense? Look at this, Chris Oh no. Is this unknown person uh, in the ring? But it, that shit. Yeah, see, I'm looking at the thing. On the news. I look at the thing and it looks good, but like it's PW. But whoever did the the things for this, these guys are terrible. Yeah. Not all of them. Wait, who's called commentary? You know, I gotta say, I was interrupted by none other than Josh Lazy as I was. Sounds like like Conan or something. Wait a minute, wait, you think Lazy One guy looks like Joey Styles. But there was an XPW existed after I was yeah. gone for years. Yeah, that was the one with. And the, I believe it got sold. Brian Sags. It didn't last long. Or is that XWF? Not XWF. My bad. Wait, XPW didn't the X Pac uh, wrestle there? I don't Big think Ron? so. If he did, he wasn't while I was fucking with him. Big Ron, do you remember him? You know, I think I got some ideas, man. I think this yeah. guy's looking a little familiar. What did he look like? I can't put it in my head. Uh, he looked like the other guy, but bigger. <laughs> you know, he was talking to me. From what, the West Side? Yeah. Were, were they from the West Side? Oh, uh, yeah, that one dude just kicked him in the head doing that moon song. Wow. It's crazy. XPW. Yeah, I remember XPW. X Pac wrestling here. It was like a. It was like a. In, uh, a West Coast ECW was what they were trying to be. Yeah. And look at that beautiful springboard sent up from Kid Chaos on the chronic. The a lot of these guys are just out of shape. Like, really? Come on. Mystery guy. I don't know who he is. Take it to the uh, outside uh, uh, the They're like out of shape. They were the only ones willing to take that kind of punishment. Did you know that you, I mean, not saying you'll, you get a, a chance at WWE, but did you know that you don't even have to uh, go to wrestling school anymore? A background of training. A lot of people. Call her that. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, they haven't done it. It's really weird. I don't know why. I mean, but that's what which we call it is though the the little center the rest of school. Yeah, I can't. Uh... So you got one more story before we pop it off here? From the XPW. Good? Yeah, from like any, but something funny that might have happened with either like Shane or one of them or like, you know, something that... No, I wasn't around Shane Douglas that much. Um, I had just had my son, so I was at home a lot, but I would go to big shows and to the training class. Yeah. That shit was big fun, but yeah. at XPW, it was cool. Like I really enjoyed my time being there. Everybody I met was cool. Almost killed a dude trying to give him a hip toss. Well, he almost killed himself. Huh? We laid on his head. Oh yeah, it, it was. <laughs> I thought he was dead. To be totally honest with you, I was under the impression that he was gonna die. Uh, we just running the ropes, coming back, doing the hip toss. We just doing it. One side, pop up, go back to the other side, right? Just running hip tosses. This fool decides that what he's going to do is fucking uh, try to take the hip toss fancy. And he, instead of just going with the move, he like arched his back and tried to snap his body around at the last moment and did it too late. The first thing that hit the, the mat was his forehead. And then uh -huh. the next thing that hit the mat was the sole of his feet. Oh, I thought you said his soul. <laughs> the sole of his feet. So his forehead hit the mat, and he scorpioned over to where the next thing that hit the mat was his feet. I take it you won because you just laid on top of him because he was dead? No, it wasn't a win-lose situation. We were just uh, drilling hip tosses. Oh, yeah. And I was fucking hella remorseful and blah 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 like I thought this dude was hurt bad but they was like nope that's not your fault don't feel bad at all he did that shit to himself but they gotta help you though don't they they gotta help you help you how it's a two man job they gotta jump and turn while you kinda help lift them yeah kinda. 
he did do the jump. It, I wish I could explain it to you. He went up, but instead of just going over, he decided to arch his back and lean backwards and then try to come snatch his body forward again to land on his back at the end. He tried to take it hard. like He tried to take it like a lucha dude. Oh, uh, like a swan dive. Yeah. Wow. But instead, this motherfucker, oh my God, his forehead hit the mat first and his legs went over the top and the bottom of his feet hit the ground on the side of his head. I just knew this dude was dead. And so you just pretty, pretty much just stood there like, uh oh. Oh, no, nah, I was stood there in shock, yeah. No, nah, I didn't think I was going to jail. It was an accident in the class. But. <laughs> I was class today, honey. Killed a guy. Almost killed a guy. Killed a man. <laughs> Almost killed a man. Not right. my fault, though. I threw him. He decided to land the way he wanted to land. And right. Teacher always he said, didn't take your the move the way we were being instructed to take it. He was trying to show off. Is landing on your head a bad thing, boys and girls? Landing on your head is always a bad thing. And when taking every wrestling move that exists, for the most part, except the styles, that's why people were getting hurt during the styles clash. Because as a professional wrestler, you're taught over and over to tuck your chin. Tuck your chin. Tuck your chin. You tuck your chin taking the Styles Clash, you break your fucking neck. It's the only move where you have to throw your head back. Yeah, Yoshi Tatsu learned that the hard way. Broke his neck. I think somebody else got injured. A too, bunch of dudes. Oh, when he was in Japan, he hurt. AJ hurt a few people. I know that. Yeah, it, it's because they weren't accustomed to taking that fucking move. Uh, yeah, but see, that's what I don't get you to, though. If you're getting a pedigree, you can't tuck your head with a pedigree because then you'll land face first, no? No, you stay straight. Or you can tilt your head back. Triple H used to punish motherfuckers with the pedigree. He would drive their shit into the mat. Or not let their arms go so they could protect themselves. Oh... Uh, you ever get stretched in class? A little bit. It's, it wasn't like they talk about stories of the dungeon where this motherfucker is truly punishing you. It wasn't like that. Ah, oh, well, you're right. They wanted you to come back and so they can make money. Yeah. Yeah, they I mean, wanted you to be part of their company. Yeah, because I know uh, the old days, if you weren't up for it, then you wouldn't come back. Right. Which really isn't good. They used business. to try to punish you to see who really wanted to do it. Yeah. It really isn't, but it is in a way because you have to test. I mean, it's not good business if they're paying to be in the class. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want them to come back so they'll continue paying. Yeah. I always wanted to do it. I never got to. Then my mom took ill because of the doctor giving her so much pride in his own. And my dad died. Um, I looked into it. I wanted to. So bad. Did you I mean, I out, lucked like, into it. Oh, you lucked into it? My son's mother was dating yeah. a dude. The dude she was dating was Homeless Jimmy. Met him. Got to talking about wrestling. He said he was a pro wrestler. We talked about it enough. I got invited to come down to the class. After I came down to the class, it was discovered well, what was said to me is that you got most of the basics down like you haven't been trained i'm like nah bro i just wrestled a lot with my cousins on mattresses i understand how to get in and out of a lot of these moves bro all i had to do was learn how to take bumps properly you know what i'm saying that's to not yeah. hurt myself yeah i was pretty hey. well versed in pro wrestling just from being a junkie so did you, how, how, did you, how did you end up with uh, your girl? Met her in the job corps. No, that's what I'm saying. Like you said, oh, you said she was. I met my somebody. my son's mom, and I met my son's mom in the LA job corps. No, when I moved to LA to stay after I got out the job corps, um, uh, me and my son's mom moved in with her cousin. Oh, okay. They got a place before I came back out here from the bay. So her cousin was dating a dude. That dude turned was homeless Jimmy. Huh. That's funny. Homeless Jimmy gave you a job. 
Right. Wanna need a job lead? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I saw I Supreme want... last year. After not seeing him in like ten years. I saw him last year at a restaurant. Yeah. Um in Burbank after coming from uh a softball game. And uh he didn't even remember me. Which is fine. I wasn't oh. a huge part, but I was in his presence quite often. Ah. Oh. So your heart was broken, basically. <laughs> no, well, because I wasn't an actual wrestler on the fucking... It would have been cool if he would have remembered me, but he didn't. It was all good. <sighs> he talked to me for like 10 minutes. We were both waiting to get our food and stuff. Oh, it was cool. dope. That's cool. Oh, I spoke about events that happened while I was in his presence. Certain people that were around at the time. It was like, you had to have been there. If you know that, you had to have been there. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Supreme was one of the dudes that they started the company based on. Like, he was one of the big heels at the beginning. He was nuts. They had a little vignette of him in a butcher shop cutting up this pig. Shit was crazy. Wow. That's definitely on on YouTube. Ugh. Well, this was fun. This is cool. I learned a little. I even learned stuff about you, and I've known you for years, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> right, right. See, on a whim, on a whim, I put a thing up and say, "Hey, let's go uh, talk about some stuff," and. uh yeah, look at that. I learned some more stuff. I mean, I, I remember you were telling me about stuff like that, and we came across somebody uh, on a 360 that you knew that you wrestled with or whatever, or were still wrestling. The guy was real. The guy was just a dick. And you're like, that's just his personality and how he is. He thinks he's the biggest, baddest oh, guy. Oh. I don't. I honestly don't remember. Uh, I honestly don't. Dude, I know some white dude. Killer Cash out of Texas. He's not white. He's mixed. Killer Cash from Texas. Um, he's that's my dude though. He's cool as fuck. I need to talk to that dude. Actually, this fool has done a lot of shit in Texas as far as wrestling is concerned, winning heavyweight titles, tag titles, and the indie companies and shit out there. Yeah. Doing all right. Yeah. Or someone we were playing with, and then they were just like real annoying. Like, say, oh, I'm a wrestler. I'm better. I can do that. I can do this. I'm like, oh Jesus. I think even you. Were yeah, I like, don't know who that was. Uh, that's was quite somebody, possible. It was probably somebody from the. Uh, that that clown group that you were that you were friends with uh, those clowns what are they called? Ah, I forget the name. Ah, uh, you talking about APWF? Yeah. yeah. Well, what was that? All Pussies Wrestling Federation or something? I don't know. But anyway. So for leave them alone, man. Hey, well, I mean, you know. I don't fuck with them no more, but I'm not trying to fuck with them like that, though. Nah. I just remember, like, they used to be so so afraid of me. I don't even think I got to, like... Like, that's why I would have made the perfect heel. Or I would have gotten plenty of heat if I was a manager or something in wrestling. Was, I don't know. It's just easy. I do it without knowing. It's just, like, natural for me. But, like, then, man, like... I oh, if you a are a natural asshole. No lie. <laughs> I, I, uh... I talked to a, uh, I mean, wrestled against a few of them in the game, but then that was it. It was like I had this, I had this thing where nobody really wanted to wrestle me except for the cheaters. Because they wanted to keep cheating me out because, like, and then I would stick them in matches and I'd be stuck with them for, like, an hour. And they'd be so pissed off because they're like, just quit already. I'm like, why? No, fuck you. Why? I'm not going to let you have the last laugh with your cheating ass. Dre used to say, why are you guys still in there? Me and Ego be wrestling for an hour and a half. And we're like, these fuckers aren't winning. We don't care. He goes, but what does it matter? It's pride, man. We're not letting them it was win. right. It is pride. <laughs> like, fuck <Yeah>. them. <laughs> <laughs> we stuck in there, shit. Through huh? playing those dudes and losing enough times, we learned how to beat the motherfuckers. Oh, no, no. We would beat people fair and square, but we would do I was like... beating a lot of... I'm talking about the cheaters. You learn how to yeah. deal with the shit that they do while they're cheating, you can eventually start getting W's on the motherfuckers. We got a lot of them. Oh, yeah. We start having friends sending them messages and shit while the other one's doing something. And then we're right. like, I'll get them Hey, quick. my boy <laughs> is whooping your ass. <laughs> but then we would steal all their moves, and it was just like... It got to the point where uh, when we're playing that... 
like we started i mean yeah we we kind of the last year we resorted we we resorted to what they did we just said you know what, we're tired of this shit and we had certain ways of doing it freezing their consoles just by doing things that even i think only one person did it to us nobody else ever caught on even when we, we wrestled the same people over and over and they had the same hack move sets and they kept joining our games we kept freezing their consoles and like we would look and it would say their console still on in the match and they weren't in the match that they were too stupid to know their console was frozen and we would freeze it we would go all right we'll be that we'll be right back Jerry. oh they knew three, it was two, frozen one. we'd be like three two it one man. yeah man we we froze a lot because we were just like you know what we'll have good matches but then we had weird matches where like uh ego was mabel and he did a move to, uh, like a camel clutch or something to somebody and what happened was uh he started riding him around because he was at the entrance. He was riding him all the way back up to the ring, around the ring. And we were laughing so hard. We were, I swear to God, dude, I couldn't tell if I was going to piss or pass out. We were laughing so fucking hard because it was, it was like a random glitch. that like he, he actually had him in like a camel clutch type move, but somehow it got glitched. And he went, they went flying all around the ring together like he was piggyback riding them. And we were just in fucking tears. If you ever see Dre or talk to Dre, ask him about that. I wonder if he remembers, he'll tell you. We were just laughing so fucking hard. Cause I haven't talked to Ego in so long. I talked to him a couple years ago, and then I tried to contact him. I mean, I have his cell number and his email, but he don't respond. So I'm thinking maybe he got pre he got to go pregnant or two, and now he's settled down like he said he never would do. And he's one of those guys that doesn't want to admit that you know he did something he said he would never do. I don't know. White people, right? I guess. Oh, well, that's not just white people. That's a lot of motherfuckers. I know, I'm just saying that because... Wow. <laughs> but anyway, this was fun. Thanks for the uh, the stories. Think of some other stuff, too. We could do this again. Uh, oh, and if you're watching... Sure. If you're watching... Uh, if you're going to watch AEW and NXT by tomorrow... I'll check them out. Yeah, let me know because I'll, I'll kind of... I mean, I don't watch NXT. I was already halfway through AEW. From what I saw, it was like... Uh, I wanted to get something out, but... And then we could do a review show for that, even if we don't do it till Sunday. That's fine, because it's not like, you know, I don't know. Right. Not like we're getting paid for we'll it. We'll get it done. All right, right. well. We'll get it done. Well, this is Killer Frost with 650G. Thanks to anybody that's listening, and I hope you guys tune in later. Like, subscribe. Uh, Tech Vaughn, at Tech Vaughn, is his Twitter. If you want to talk to him. T-E-C-V-A-W-N. That's right. Spelled right there. I have it. You'll see it. Looks nice. Well, not really. But anyway, it's legible. It's legible. And we're <laughs> out. Talk to you guys later. Give me your money.